We humans are fascinated by the night sky, aren't we? And very likely since prehistoric times, wise men have gazed up at the stars and wondered what is up there. In the last few centuries, developments in technology have given us telescopes, and in the previous two centuries, developments in electronics, computers, and rocketry have given us the ability to even place those telescopes in space, revealing to us a great deal of what is up there. But there are creatures in this world that could always naturally see a great deal of what is up there. Have you ever walked in the forest by night and heard the calling of owls and wondered what they see when they look up at the night sky? When they look up into the firmament, they do not see what we do, that I can guarantee you, because their eyes are as much as a hundred times more light sensitive than ours. Owls are in fact creatures born with night vision. The night vision of owls is 10 to 100 times that of humans. How much better the night vision is depends on the owl and their hunting habits. Those evolved to hunt in the blackest of nights in the deepest of forests will have by far the better night vision. In any event, you can be sure that it is so much better that when they look up at the night sky, they see an extraordinary cosmos beyond just the stars and the faint trace of the Milky Way that we humans perceive with our limited night vision. Owls accomplish the feats of their extraordinary night vision in a number of ways. For one, owls have tubular eyes, unlike human eyeballs, which are roughly spherical. Their eyes fit into their skulls, almost like the lenses of binoculars, small tubes that hold lenses on one end, and photoreceptors and reflective materials on the other. Light passes through the front of the eye of the owl, its lens, and goes back to the photoreceptors, for we astrophotographers, we might think of those as the photosensors of cameras. In the back of the owl's eye, rods and cones capture that light and convert it into information. But here is another place where the eyes of owls differ from those of humans. Humans and owls both have rods and cones. Rods are responsible for luminance vision, and cones are responsible for color vision. But humans have one cone for every 20 rods. Our eyes are focused on perceiving luminance, but about 5% of the receptive material within our eyes is also devoted to seeing color. As humans are evolved to be diurnal creatures, creatures of the day, this color vision helps us immensely, combined with our brain's powerful occipital lobe, which accounts for as much as 18% of brain mass. That color vision can help us pull away the camouflage that so many animals use to disguise themselves and spot them when they think they are well hidden. This is very useful for we humans who are, in the natural world, both apex predators, but also occasionally prey, because our minds make us very good at devising tools for hunting, though we are not, by nature standards, extraordinarily strong or fast, but we do have great visual perception, especially for creatures of the day. Owls, on the other hand, were more concerned with seeing in the night. The creatures that are active by night use darkness as their cover, their camouflage, and the fundamentals to perceiving them are rods, the part of the eye responsible for seeing luminance, and owls have 30 rods to every cone. You might say that while humans have 5% of their eyes devoted to color perception, owls only have 3.3%. So they can, in the right to illumination, perceive color, but it is much less important to them. Compared to humans, their eyes are also huge. In fact, it is accurate to say their eyes are enormous when compared to their body mass. An owl's eyes comprise a full 5% of its mass, whereas a human's eyes comprise only 0.02% to 0.03% of our mass. Think of it this way, if a human's eyes comprise 5% of our body mass, her eyes would be the size of oranges and weigh 2 kilograms. With all this in mind, it is fair to say that owls are living, breathing, night vision cameras. So knowing this, what does the sky look like to an owl? There is scientific data from which we can make good guesses. It goes without saying that their experience of the night sky will be very different from ours. If I were to stand beneath the dark sky, as in here, and look up into it, my eyes would register a faint trace of the galactic arm we call the Milky Way. But if an owl were to look up at the Milky Way, it would not at all perceive the Milky Way like I do, as a mere dim trace across a very black sky. For an owl, the night sky is awash with light, and the Milky Way blazes across it. 
In fact, as you can see in this greatly light amplified video clip, the sky would not just reveal a brilliant Milky Way, but the night sky itself, even a moonless night like this night, would be filled with a haze of light created by countless stars otherwise invisible to the human eye. For an owl, the night sky is a realm of light the likes of which we can barely imagine. Owls also have remarkably refined vision, able not just to see lights in the darkness, but to see incredible detail. As an example, an owl can see a mouse up to 200 meters away. So if an owl could eliminate the blazing light of all those other stars when it looks up at the night sky and see only the Milky Way, and its perception is doubtless much greater than the somewhat limited technology of my camera, for an owl, the Milky Way might look somewhat more like this. This is roughly 6.5 f-stops or 100 times above the range of human vision. If a human were to look up at the night sky and look at Andromeda, with our human eyes, we might see something approximating this. But through our eyes, 100 times brighter, Andromeda might look like this. Were we humans to look toward the horizon as the constellation Orion rises, and try to perceive the nebulosity in its vicinity, we might see something like this. But through our eyes, that entire region of dust and complex nebulosity has the potential to look like this. Though, all of these visualizations share two inaccuracies. We have not yet compensated for color differences in the way owls perceive. And we also have to compensate for the fact that owls will probably see everything in the night sky 100 times brighter. The fact that owls perceive the night sky as much as 100 times brighter than we do is likely the key factor in determining what the sky looks like to owls. So let's examine that first. Let's go back to our owl's eye view of what the Milky Way would look like. The perspective an owl would have of the Milky Way would not be nearly so clean. You see, if all the objects in the night sky were a hundred times brighter, it would be very difficult to see any particular detail in the night sky because discrete objects would be washed out in a haze of light. Indeed, for an owl, the night sky would never be a dark place. It would be a glow with dust, nebulae, galaxies and stars so dim that we never give them a thought unless seen through a telescope would become very visible, drowning out the entire sky in a haze of pure celestial light deriving from deep sky objects. Thus, the Milky Way and the night sky as owls know it probably looks somewhat more like this. The sky, a hundred times brighter, very likely what the owl sees is a scintillating sea of light. However, to see the night sky like an owl, we do have to make another change. You see, humans can see three primary colors, and they're generally thought to be red, green, and blue. That's a rough correlation, but it's good enough for government work, as they say. But, while we humans have trichromatic vision, owls have dichromatic eyes evolved for hunting. The colors they perceive are likely restricted from the yellow to blue range. So in an effort to see the night sky even closer to the way owls may see it, we need to withdraw the red, and instead we'll apply a color palette that builds only on yellows and blues. Not all owls can see color, but for those that do, this may be the night sky as they perceive it. Though, in truth, it's hard to be sure. Scientists can study the way owl eyes work, and observe how they respond to color, but in the end, eyes, like cameras, are simply tools that gather information, and it's the brain in the occipital lobe that processes that information into an image. And we have no way to ever be sure exactly what the image is that an owl's consciousness perceives. What we do know for certain is that even within the same species, individuals can have very different responses to color. Back in 2015, a person posted an image of a dress. That image just became known as the dress. Some persons perceived that image as blue and black, while others saw it as white and gold. Yet it was the same image. The dress became a perfect illustration of how organisms, even within the same species, in this case, our species, can interpret color information differently. When we jump so many evolutionary steps over to owls, who can tell how exactly their brains are interpreting the information their eyes receive? Doubtless, their brains are far more evolved and effective at interpreting low-light information. I wouldn't doubt at all that they perhaps see other colors than we credit them for. After all, color doesn't exist in nature, it has to do with how our brains perceive frequencies. You can see this illustrated even with modern technology. The James Webb Telescope, for example, can only shoot in infrared, 
That's in the range of red that you might think of as so deep that the human eye can't perceive it. Yet the images created from the information from the James Webb Telescope are portrayed in stunning color. And this is because that information, while it all derives from infrared, is attributed color based on the different frequencies of infrared that are captured. And given how clever nature is, and how highly evolved owls are for seeing in the dark, I wouldn't be at all surprised if one day we learned that their brains were indeed able to interpret subtle differences in frequency, enabling them a fuller, wider range of color perception. I don't know about you, but if I could, I would love to step into an owl's mind just for a moment and see what it sees when it peers up into the night sky. Imagine if we humans had that ability, and for us, the night was a world of light, and the sky itself was a place not dark, but filled with dust, galaxies, nebulae, and cosmic phenomena that our species would have been aware of since the infancy of our kind. How might that awareness have changed our own evolution? Such a thing is something we can only speculate upon. Thank you for watching, and if you have any thoughts, observations, or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And whether you look at the sky with your mere human eyes, or you use telescopes and binoculars, I hope you see in the night sky the same wonders an owl might when it looks up.